Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot for the errors you found in the index and match function. I have five cases and I'm going to show you one by one of how to detect the errors and how to fix it. Um, so to start with, let's look at the problem that we have today. So let's say you want to allocate your bonus amount based on two factors. One is people's performance rating and one is their job levels. And then what's further is also that you have different countries for uh, selection and you need to allocate uh, by country as well. So this is the data sheet that we have cleaned um, and this is what we want to use for the lookup. So you can see here I've already uh, um, sorted everything by the performance rating exactly the same way as we have for the lookup table and i have all the countries and all the job levels uh, cleaned up and sorted as well and i have created a vlookup code which is a combination of the country and the job level and then basically for everything you uh, have in the lookup and the performance rating matrix, you have the um, bonus amount that you can look up here. So this is a perfect typical scenario where we use the index and match function, which is basically you um, have an array, which is your lookup um, data set. And then you have uh, you use a match function to find your row, uh, row number and then you use another match function to find your um, to find your column number and then based on that um, this is how you look for the index so that is basically the uh, key concept behind this um, exercise and I have five cells here that's not working here and let's see why um, so the first one let's say we want to choose for El Salvador country um, and um, let's see for El Salvador director um, performance rating poll like it shouldn't be um, like this it should actually be a number right it should be a, be a number um, of 150, right? So why it's not showing here? Actually, the like it, it is a sign that for you that if you see this we look up code because um, it is actually telling you, okay, you actually included uh, the title, the title range here. And actually for index and look function, uh, a match function, you have to only choose the data set. You cannot include the title column. And this is a major difference from VLOOKUP, in which case you actually have to choose uh, the title column. So you can see here um, our lookup range is from uh, the look lock tab C to H um, and uh, C column if you look at here, C is actually the title column, and that's not right. And this is something that we should change to D and make it uh, somehow work. And this is a case um, that usually it should work. And let's now actually look at those two. They're now the same cases if you look at the formula. And now the question is, why is not working even after we change the um, array um, array um, direction to the right set of um, data? Um, and let's look at uh, the numbers. So this is when we um, go to formula and then you go to evaluate uh, formula and then you go in and um, evaluate step by step. So now we have the right lookup column array. Um, and then so that part is working. And then we have the match. So let's evaluate El Salvador um, director match. So yeah, so you see actually you have the number like you have the row number and you have the uh, column number so those both of those uh, factors elements are working here 
So this is when you need to go back to the original range and detect the, the uh, special issue here. And actually, in our case, um, the special issue is we have a merged uh, column. So actually, you see when we when you um, when we select um, the array here, you see like we we have the match function looking at um, uh, no actually let's look at this one so we have the um, array uh, function like we have the C11 pull but then we are looking up to D1 to DH so if you look at the cell here D1 to DH um, it is actually for D1 it is actually this column and for this column there's actually nothing in the data set which means that you are not able to look up anything so this is why this number is showing zero here and then actually to fix it you need to either um, make sure your reference to the right number or the easier way is to just unmerge it and then make sure you have um, the number at the right cell so this is really how um, the data set should look and now let's see now it's working it's looking up to the right number here so that is the second um, troubleshooting um, error there and then the third one let's look at this cell so um, this cell let's say if we want to change look at Indian and then um, so it's not looking right again so now let's see what the problem is let's go to evaluate formula so look up the right range um, evaluate and then you go step by step and then notice you have an NA here, right? But then your column is okay. So you actually you actually have the right column number, but then you don't have the right row match. And then let's see why that's the case. So what are we looking um, up here? We're looking at um, D11. Uh, no, like for row, we're looking at C10, which is Indian, and director. And then we're looking at... Uh, uh, row C in the um, in the lookup so let's see row C that is right and then we're looking for India and then we're looking for director oh that's why so we don't actually have the role of the directors um, here and this is why we are not able to uh, have this number so this is actually so a lot of times you might have um, the um, a, a range a data range that's not fully cleaned or you didn't detect any of the errors there and then this is the way that you can actually verify how uh, you can make the column uh, make the how you can clean your range it to make um, the, to make the data to get what you want Okay, so that is number three, when your row number cannot be matched. So now let's look at this um, uh, cell and um, let's go do the same thing. Evaluate our formula to see where are the issues here. So looks like the row is working now. That's great. And then okay so now this time it is actually the column number that's not working so the column number is referring to uh, D11 uh, D uh, D11 uh, no actually it should look at e, e, E11 right and then it's looking at D2 to G2 range so now let's do this and see if it's working oh no it's still not working okay so now let's look at um, uh, our range here so um, it looks like something rise with the column reference right and then so good uh, so let's see this is how uh, the cell looks and then let's see the performance of rating good let's see what the problem is here oh and do you see that little space after the good 
this is actually why that's the case, and this is a very common mistake that if you don't clean your tax enough, and then there's a space before or after the tax, um, it just doesn't um, make your formula work. Okay, so now we have cleaned, um, we have cleaned the cell, um, and let's come back to the cell to see if it's working. Okay, so it's still not working, and then let's see what the problem is there. So we still go to formula, evaluate formula. Let's see. Um, our row is working. Um, our um, column is still not working. Okay, so now let's see. Actually, to be safe, maybe a better way is actually just copy the cell. Um, so that you know it's they are exactly the same um, and looks like it's still not working so now let's look at what the issue is here um, so the lookup range d to g yep that's d to g and then um, match function um, for the match function of row we're looking at c10 and uh, B30, and then we'll look up C. Yeah, so that's working. And then for match, we'll look at 11, and then we want to look up D2 to G2. Uh, let's see what D2 to G2 is. Okay, so now you see the problem here, right? So the problem is actually here. Um, it's looking up D2 to G2, uh, which is actually the second column there, and that's not what we want. And then um, we actually want it to be D1 to G1. Yeah, see, that is how the number works. And then we just need to change the format of it because it's a number, it's a dollar amount, it's not a percentage. See, so that's basically a live fix of how to uh, look for the errors and then okay so now this cell is working and then we want to make it um, also work for the next column um, maybe let's just copy it like just, let's just go copy the formula oh now it's not working and the reason that it's not working this time is actually if you click onto the cell and then you see my cell reference are all of the place and that's the same case for the lookup array um, and this is because you did not use the absolute reference for your um, uh, formula so when you copy formula down um, the cell reference also moves one um, column to the right and then it doesn't work so actually to make it work um, what you need to do is go back to the cell where you want to copy from make sure you add the absolute um, sign to everyone and then for example you see the India um, you want to refer that to absolute so you need to make both the column and row um, um, absolute and then for um, the job level you want to make the column reference absolute but you want to make the uh, the row reference relative so leave this that blank and then for lookup um, that's absolute and then for um, the match you want to make the row absolute but leave the column relative and then for lookup um, uh, title that's absolute okay so that will still work for your original formula, but then when you copy it, now you see it's working when you copy it. So basically that's the five uh, troubleshooting cases for uh, index and match. And actually I want to emphasize for you that there are two best practices for index and match. One um, is what I just mentioned, use absolute cell reference. And the next one is actually to use named range. And I'm actually going to show you how to use named range really neat. Um, to make your formula look much better than the one that you are looking at here. So let's still do the same thing for um, the lookup, uh, to still 
use the same database, but then let's name our ranges. So first, you know, this is the, the, um, the array that we want to use, select them. And then let's say just range, like just name it and then click enter. Then you named it. And then you also know that um, this is going to be your uh, row. Like this part is going to be your row reference um, where you use to in the match function to find the row index. Um, and then let's just name it row or anything you like, really. And then let's do the same thing for the column and then name it column. Enter. OK, so now you should have uh, the three reference here. Um, and let's go here for um, our index and match. So you go index and then click tab. Um, and then you want to look for the array, which we named range. Right. And then you see the range here uh, is already popping up. Go uh, tab, comma, row reference, use match function. And then look up value. You still need to look up uh, the country and the um, job level. And then look up range. You want to look up the row range, which we just named. Um, note that if you have a function like that, you need to make sure you select the one with the tag sign, the row. That's what we named. And then go zero to find the exact match, close it. Go for another match to find the column reference, which is um, actually this cell, um, comma, and the lookup uh, array is column, and then go uh, exact match, close the index function. Boom, that's what you need. Um, and this formula looks a lot more cleaner than what we just had, right? And then now I want to copy this formula um, across the rows and across the columns. How do I do that? So now you have the named range. So you, the good thing is that with the name range, you don't need to uh, bother with the absolute cell signs for all the ranges because they will stick. But then you do need to make sure of all the cells you have here, you still need to make sure they have the absolute cell reference as proper. So for example, the country one, um, you can make it absolute uh, by um, pricing F4 because that's not going to change. That reference is not going to change for all the cells in your table. But then for the um, job level, you want to only absolute uh, the uh, column index. And then for the column one, you want to absolute only the um, row index. And then that's set. And then now we can copy across and copy down and then you can get all the right reference that you need and then actually if you change your country um, all your numbers going to change uh, accordingly so this is how we troubleshoot for index and match errors um, and uh, this is the best practice that I have been using. I have also demonstrated a best user case for you. And I hope that this video will be useful to you.